So I am sitting in my car right now. I'm out here a little bit before work because I wanted to, because right now I need to kind of hurry this up. Not really. It's 1125 and I go to work at noon. I am working on some YouTube videos that I'm going to be posting throughout this next coming months. June, July is when you'll see most of these. <coughs> Excuse me. So this morning I decided to go ahead and splurge. I got myself a coffee. From Tim's. No, I don't live in Canada. I don't prefer Tim's over Starbucks. It's just very close to my work, so I always get Tim Hortons. But I'm actually going to be looking over a couple of wedding brands. I'm not getting married whatsoever, but I did a wedding review a long while ago, and I really liked it. And it seemed to me that a lot of people found it helpful that was looking for reviews on things like this. <coughs> I'm so sorry, I don't know what the hell I'm coughing over. But basically, these are free sample packs that I got from miscellaneous websites, and they're for invitations and different things like that, not just invitations. Kind of reviewing them, seeing if it's worth going through this company. I'm just doing some homework. I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but I'm just gonna kind of show you behind the scenes of how I do review videos sometimes or how I do my homework. So, yeah. And I'm on these, I'm just merely looking at how it comes and everything else. So, you will definitely see more in my actual video. That was satisfying. so I did a lip declutter yesterday I didn't film it I did film it but then like the footage like was really crappy the lighting was everywhere I just wasn't feeling it so I deleted the clip but um I thought I would just show you what I'm keeping and if you want to see what's in my collection I would love to do a video like that um and then I'm going to show you what I got rid of so I have these two baskets these are mainly glosses and balms and these are liquid lipsticks and there's a few lip glosses in there too. They're not fully organized, but this one is liquid lipsticks and lipsticks kind of, but there's not many lipsticks in here anymore. And then I'm keeping this whole thing of lipsticks. Dana one. 
light pink. Um, I have a Beauty Moment liquid lip. It's kind of like a tangerine color. Um, this liquid lip that's a orange copper shade. I have a liquid lip that's a pink. I have this lilac one I showed you guys. This lip gloss I'm giving her. This one I'm giving her because it is really pretty, but the lid stays on, so it's worth keeping. I just don't want it. Um, I have these random like lip glosses. There's Ulta ones, Wet n Wild ones, this Ulta one. Um, another Jordana. This is a dark brown. Actually, I thought I was keeping that. Oh, I don't need it. Um, I thought I was keeping it, though. I have this MAC one I'm giving her. Um, this random one from e.l.f. So, and then another one from e.l.f. as well. So that's everything that she um, can choose from to keep. If All right, guys, I'm going to do a super quick grocery haul. So I apologize if it gets shaky at any moment. I like using these for salads and tacos. Um, anytime I need a little bit of lettuce, I always get the shredded lettuce. Um, it's like $0.69, 89 at Aldi's. All of this came from Aldi's, by the way. So shredded lettuce is a must. Um, I also pick up the American Singles, like, sliced cheese for sandwiches or grilled cheese or whatever throughout the week. And then I usually get um, a couple different kinds of lunch meat. So I usually get rotisserie chicken. I think it's super good. And then we also get smoked ham sometimes or turkey, but my boyfriend does not like turkey very much, so ham is the go-to. I also picked up, also got some chocolate milk and some iced coffee. Oh, sorry, I thought it was in the frame. I also have some caramel iced coffee. This was a new item that I saw, so that was a good find. I tried it, and it's so good. It's like $2, and the chocolate milk is like $0.65. Cents. This iced coffee is super good if you like it to still taste like coffee. It's like not overly sweet, but... It's just, it's really good. So check it out if you're in the, in like need of or looking for pre-made iced coffee. It's so good. Um, and then I also got six of these. These are chicken and cheese chimichangas. I picked them up for my boyfriend for lunches next week. Um, I don't know if he's going to like them, but they were super cheap. They're like 60, 70 cents, something like that. Um, I also got a bag of broccoli slaw. I'm about to make a low carb or no carb egg roll with some chicken instead of like pork or what else do they use like pork and shrimp those different kinds I'm just going to do it with chicken because that's the easiest thing for me um, and I'm going to make it with a little bit of teriyaki sauce um, soy sauce and that's basically it so I got this bag of broccoli slaw I got these in the frozen section they're my the brand Mimo, I guess. Mochi ice cream. This is the green tea flavor. These are okay. They're something new. I've never had mochi before. I've only heard about it. And it wasn't that good. I like the ice cream inside, but the dough was kind of gross. So, not a fan, but I did try it. They were like four bucks for six little things. So, I don't know. They had it in mango. I could possibly try that again, um, get the mango flavor, but I don't know. Um, and then this, these were new, um, whole simple, I think is their brand. You get 15 grams of protein in here and then it's the Southwestern style chicken quinoa. So it's got chicken breasts, chunks, corn, black beans, tomatoes, sweet potatoes, and red bell peppers. This was really good. You can heat it up in the microwave or you can put it in the oven. I think, what does it say? Toaster oven? What does it say? Microwave. Conventional oven, yeah. So, toaster oven or, no, I think that's regular oven. I don't know. I guess it says conventional or microwave. I did it in the microwave. Um, it says in the microwave, do it for one and a half minutes and then stir it and put it back in for another minute. And that's what I did. The sauce is a little bit, like, it's missing, so I added some hummus to it. So, I'll show you that. Um, I got two packs of hummus. I got one, which was the roasted red pepper hummus. That's what I put on top of this to go with. And then I always get the olive tapenade one because I really like it. Um, but it's super salty, so you can't eat very much, which is fine. It's a good thing. But I put the roasted red pepper on top of this, and it really helped it um, have more filling and flavor to it. Or not filling, but like the flavor was there. But just to like bring it all together, I don't know. I felt like this helped. 
when I taste tested it without the hummus. It was kind of blah, but I do really like it on its own even. Um, I just think I like a little bit more. You know what I mean? So I think this was like three bucks. This was super good. They had another version. It was a Mediterranean. The stuff in it just wasn't calling my name, so I didn't get them. Um, so I did get two of those. I already ate this one. And then I got a bag of Honeycrisp apples. Those are so good. Those are the best apples they have. So I picked up another bag of those, and I take them to work with me. I got a thing of ketchup because I like that with, you know, anything that's basic. I like to eat ketchup with. Um, I got a bottle of teriyaki sauce, which I used on one of these things I'm about to show you. Honestly, I'm about to go back to the store and pick up like five more boxes because they're really good. Um, but I don't know if I will, but I want to. So I got these Asian veggie burgers and I am not going vegan. I'm not trying to do that. Um, I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier. So I saw these as an alternative. I did not read anything about calories or how good these burgers are for you. But the Asian veggie burger, there's no meat in this, so it is vegan. You guys can see the vegan up here. But it's a patty made with brown rice, water chestnuts, carrots, peas, and red peppers and bro broccoli. So, oh, and soy sauce. So you can really smell the soy sauce and everything just come together. I can, I ate one of these today. They come pre-packaged. Why is it not focusing? Probably because I'm shaking. But I ate one of those today along with side of my quinoa bowl because I was really excited to try it. Um, with a little bit of the teriyaki sauce on the side. That's why it's been opened. Um, so let's read the calories. So 130 calories per burger. Um, and then you get 15 carbs and 6 proteins. I mean, it was good. I don't care. I'm trying to be a little bit healthier, so I'm just trying to limit myself. So these together was like a full protein for me anyways. I was super full. I ate this about 2, 3, 4 hours ago. Oh yeah, 4 hours ago. So... We're doing good. I also picked up the Thai veggie burger. This one has, let's read. This one is brown rice made with six vegetables, Thai basil, lemongrass, and lime. So this sounded really good too. Um, we'll see how this goes because I never tried one of those yet. Here's what they look like. I mean, even though the box looks like literally the same, I had another one of the chicken quinoas. I picked another one of those up. I got a loaf of white bread for Zach because that's what he likes. And then I got a bag of mild cheddar cheese and shredded. And then a bag of baby carrots to go with my hummus. And, oh, a carton of eggs because I'm going to boil some eggs so I can eat it with something. I don't know. I just like to eat boiled eggs sometimes. So, I'm going to want to boil these pretty soon. But yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to go and make my low-carb, uh, why am I about to say egg noodles? My low-carb egg roll. No carb or low-carb? I don't know. Egg roll. So, we'll see how that goes. I'll let you guys know um, when that happens because I'll be eating it for lunch this week. I'm reading on here. This one's a little bit healthier, the Thai burger. It's a, like got less sodium, less carbs, and more protein in it, but the same amount of calories. So, um, But still, it's really good for one burger. I kind of want to show you what they look like. hand size whatever it's, it's smaller but it's really good um i also got two backs backs two packs of chicken breasts as well so i'll be using the chicken breasts in my egg roll thing with this okay great see you guys later bye